early start. Um, you have to forgive the shakiness of the camera. I'm walking down this uh, quite rough stony pass. Um, I've had flu last week as well, so my voice is a bit uh, croaky, but I'm just making my way down to Dirtle Door. Um, I've got today off work Friday, so um, uh, I wanted to kind of make something in the day with so I came up uh, to Dorset last night uh, in the camper van and just um, parked up somewhere. So I'm um, going to head down to uh, Dirtle Door this morning. Uh, just on the way now, it's just um, that kind of rock you can see sticking up there in the, in the um, background. Um, time wise, it's about 10 minutes before sunrise, so um, there was a bit of light in the sky this morning, but not too much down the, the way that I'm going to be shooting behind the, the rocks. It's quite cloudy, so uh, uh, I didn't think it was that important getting down in mega early to try and catch some of the. Um, red clouds because I just don't think they would have turned so um, hopefully um, get down and get so long the sun will come up and um, maybe burn for a bit of them and uh, might be to just get it come across uh, on the horizon so um, yeah it should be quite cool I've been here once before uh, but I got here um, kind of nice sun, sunrise but I didn't really have any time to hang around after be somewhere else after so I have very much to get early hours of it or early minutes of it I suppose and uh, head off so I've got a picture from that I can slip up that exactly it's pretty much down here this time so um, yeah hopefully it'll be cool and uh, after this I've got a drone with me so I'm going to uh, hopefully head up to Corfe Castle um, which looks like it's about 20 minutes away and get a few shots of um, the castle and some of the uh, rock formation on the coast there so catch up with you a bit later when I set up. So up down at the beach now, here's Dedal's door. Um, real cool arch. Um, I'm not so sure about the composition I've got. I was hoping to get down the beach further towards uh, these peaks. That's Bat's head. Um, I think the smaller one there. Um, I can't remember, they've both got names, but um, that's quite a famous one anyway. Um, problem is the further that along the beach I go, uh, the less of the arch you see so um just because kind of you've got to be kind of this way to look to look right through it so um it should come out quite nicely but it's um the light's not great it's quite cloudy um there's not too much definite definition in the clouds either um i've got a, a 0.9 graduated um leaf filter on there you don't really need it because the scene is very balanced anyway but um, what that filter will do is it will darken the sky which means in post work um, I'll be able to do steps easier to the sky to make it look a bit more moody. Um, uh, the water's nice and blue down here but there's no uh, proper light on it at the moment so um, it's going to be a bit muted in the picture I think. All I'm doing, um, quite a simple shot, um, focusing on kind of the door there. Uh, just having it in the corner of the frame um, just so it's kind of like say in the one of the, the three thirds of the, um, the frame on the left um, with a bit of a leading line the diagonal line of the um, the water or the shore edge kind of going through it, it it looks okay I mean it's not amazing I'm probably going to take this um, get some different angles afterwards um, I'm showing an F14 an ISO 50 that's given me an exposure of um, six seconds. I'm shooting an aperture priority here, so it's uh, nice and simple. Um, six seconds will smooth the water out. Um, it won't do much with the clouds, but it will um, uh, take quite a nice picture that I should be able to do some post work on. 
Last time I was here, um, I was saying about earlier, um, I actually went across the cliff. I think I prefer the angle up there, to be honest. Um, I thought it'd be better down here than it is. It's a bit too um, hard to get the, uh, the kind of horizon of the water in the background uh, behind it down here. Obviously up on the cliff, you're a lot higher and you can kind of look down at an angle to it and it seems a bit better. I, like I say, I've got a nice picture up there. Um, I took last year. Uh, the, the lighting was good, but um, I wasn't so keen on the image. It was a HDR, um, but it, I'm not so keen on the colour. So I'll probably redo those images um, if I can find them um, and put them up there and just show you what it's like with a bit better light. Um, I think the reason the HDRs came out so badly last time is because the type of rocks they have here, um, it's this kind of like, um, I'm probably wrong, it's like shellet type stuff. Um, and it's, it's really unreflective, so when it's a bit dark um, around kind of sunset and sunrise, it seems to just suck in all the light and um, not, it's not very bright on the camera. Um, so last time the sky was so bright behind here and red, uh, the, the camera was exposing the, uh, the rock just um, too dark, so I couldn't really get a, a nice image out of it. So the images I get today might actually turn out better, but um, if I do a bit more work on that one from earlier, it should, uh, it should turn out okay. Um, I'm going to put the drone up in the air. Um, it's not a no-fly zone here, but um, uh, we there are signs in the car park. Really, I don't think they really want drones here, so um, it's still like ten past seven or quarter past seven. So it's early, so there's no one else down here. So I'm going to fly the drone first um, early, and then um, obviously, if anyone else comes down here a bit later on, it's not going to interfere with them or annoy them. So um, yeah, I'm going to get some different angles angles with the drone now, and. Um, Hopefully uh, see what we can get. So um, yeah, like I say, I'll move positions any minute and uh, catch up with you in a bit. Well, just when I was painting a Duma on the uh, the scene, it's um, actually lit up. Um, don't know where you can see that on here, but um, the sky has actually gone a bit red. The clouds picked up some of the red light from the, uh, the sun, which is probably about a quarter of an hour past sunset now. So just goes to show never, uh, Spin it off because even you know half an hour before sunrise this morning it was red kind of that direction um, and some of this grey cloud has turned into a bit of a glow on it um, it's not going to be amazing looking at the, with the eye but it's going to uh, add a bit of moodness into the clouds so should get a decent image from it now so um, yeah I'm not going to mess around the composition too much I'm going to try and get the drone in the air um, get some shots why um, why the, the light's kind of still there. I've just noticed as well it's casting some really nice light on these peaks here. It's quite red actually so um, yeah I might just turn around and get them quickly before the drone goes up. Um, I'm not really happy with the composition I've got with them to be honest but um, yeah I'll get them in anyway and catch some of the light. Right I still haven't got the drone in the air. Uh, I've got to get it up any minute though. Um, you probably even see on the phone now the light on these um, rocks has gone amazing really really red it's almost like you're on top of a peak or something like that um, yeah really happy with how they've lit up got some pictures of them earlier um, they are quite red in those pictures even though it's about five minutes ago so I'm not going to bother with those again um, the light is kind of still on this side so I've just come a bit further towards the the, uh, the arch and um, I have switched over to HDR now. I have a feeling it's going to give me some of the images from last time that I wasn't so keen on. So I might just use a centre exposure. Um, but because it's quite bright behind it now, it is starting to um, get to the point where it's, um, it's starting to look quite dark on the, the arch. So um, um, you don't know if you can see very well on the uh, on the back of the camera here, but. Um, You can see it is starting to look a bit halo-y in some of the HDR pictures, so that's that's the risk. Whether uh, whether when it when it stitches, um, it's going to mess up like that. Sorry about keeping putting the hand over the uh, the camera all the time. My um, uh, uh, Gorilla Pod thing broke um, when I was in Switzerland, so um, I have to hold the, the phone by hand at the moment. So um, yeah, really cool. I'm just going to stay here. Some of the the light is actually starting to come through. You can see it on the phone here as well. To shine through the arch so it looks quite nice in the pictures that's one of the other reasons I've gone to HDRs because um, 
hopefully it'll pick out that better in the picture. Um, I've got a polarizer on as well. I've had a polarizer on for all the shots. Um, and what that's gonna do is just um, take a bit of the reflection off the water um, and just make it a bit bluer. And um, yeah, hopefully it'll be quite cool. When I was shooting this way earlier, um, I didn't have the neutral density feet filter a horizontal. Um, I actually had it at an angle to try and capture dark and some of the, um, the the actual cliffs there. Um, so rather than having it straight, just to do the clouds by putting it angle and darkening the the uh, cliffs, you're going to make the colours come out a bit better in them as well. So that's just a, a tip. It doesn't always have to be horizontal with your uh, your ND filter. So I'll um, yeah get the drone in the air now. Um, it's sat there, it's switched on, so it's just wasting battery at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'll come back to you in a bit.
Right, that's me finished at the location now. Um, yeah, really cool sunrise. Um, like I said, I didn't think it was going to happen for a while, but the kind of clouds just pop with that uh, red glow. Uh, so yeah, really happy of it. Um, because it's quite cloudy as well, I think a bit of definition came out in the clouds, so it should get quite a nice moody, um, kind of red, cloudy scene in it. It should be quite um, quite interesting once they've uh, gone through Photoshop. Uh, there's loads of big compositions you can get here. Um, I mean, it's such an awesome march. Uh, it's a lot bigger than it looks on the camera. And obviously you've got the um, bat's head and all that, the other cliff down there which you can go and explore. There's also these... Um, steps down here um, just about to see kind of there at the end of the drone um, you can get some of those in the composition as well with the door when I was walking down this morning they look quite good um, but I've got to head off to Corf Castle now I'm not really going to spend too much time looking at the castle but uh, there's a set of like sea stacks are off it off the coast there which you can get um, the drone over to so uh, yeah, I'm going to go up there now, um, so I can't really spend much more time here and uh, try and get there when the sun's a bit too still low and uh, hopefully the way the sun's going to come up it's going to be light in the back of them um, where the drone's going to be kind of facing onto so it should come out quite nicely hopefully get some um, a bit of light on them they're quite white so um, even just with kind of midday sun I think they're still going to come out quite nicely um, yeah, so uh, really cool, cool place. I had a few problems with the drone because the USB charging port in my phone is knackered. It packed up about a week ago, so it won't charge at all. Um, so I'm having to charge this on the wireless pad all the time. Um, and I've had to bring my tablet to connect to it. It's a, star, it's a Phantom 3 Advance, so you've got to plug it in by cable. And my tablet is also... <laughs> A couple of years old and the USB port is on its way out of that as well so it spent more time disconnecting than it was connected so a bit of a nightmare but wow I was walking back to the van um, it's like an hour and 20 minutes past sunrise. But you've got this um, really strong band of sun across here. Really cool mist coming over the top of the cliff. And these really cool uh, shapes in the water down here on the other side of the, the door. So um, yeah, man, it's like unreal this is. Um, gonna get the camera out, get some shots. I don't know what they're gonna look like. It's a bit of a weird scene, but um, I'm sure if I had a time lapse of that coming over the cliff, it, the cliff it looked amazing. But um, probably haven't got time to be honest. But I'm going to set up, try and get some interesting shots. And uh, God, yeah, I didn't expect to see that when I come over the hill. It's um, quite unreal. Look at that. Um, kind of wish I knew a bit of a better composition, really. But um, yeah, I'll go for this. I think you get a bit of bit of a uh, cliff on this side. A bit of the cliff sticking out in the end, mist coming over the top and uh, yeah some sun sunrise so uh, yeah I'm really happy with this I'll uh, set up and come back to you in a minute. Right it's pretty much all dried up now to be honest um, there's a bit of uh, mist still coming over but it's uh, not as much as it was I don't think a time lapse would have worked really I think it was um, kind of two on its way out as I got here um, and probably wouldn't have come out that amazing even if it was I just um, it's not like kind of clouds that kind of linger around so much. I think it's kind of on and off a bit more. Um, I've come down to the beach just to try and pick up some of these uh, lines that are kind of going up along the, the shore here. Um, still really fiery over there. It's like nuts, but um, I'm going to head off any minute. Uh, not so as not as keen on the pictures down here as I had up on the top of the cliff there. So um, yeah, I'll see what I like and put them up. Um, it's just such a cool place here. I mean, you've got these these rocks, which kind of go up through the uh, through the water there, and you can actually trace them all the way back. It's almost like they're man-made all the way back straight up the cliff here. They're so defined. It's uh, and all the different layers in the rock. I suppose if you're a geologist, you'd uh, 
really find this place really interesting. Um, yeah, like I say, got a few okay images down here, better ones up this cliff. Um, put them up, see what you think, and uh, I'll see you uh, at Corf next. Um, I'm well past my um, parking ticket on the uh, car park, so fingers crossed I've not got a ticket when I get back. Um, but yeah, I'll see you a bit later. Right, you have to bear with me. Uh, <coughs> um, my phone's actually gone flat now. The USB port is pretty knackered in it. Um, the tablet packed up as well. The port's finally gone on that as well. So it's typical, isn't it? Two things and they both don't work. Um, it's taken me about an hour when I've been here to get the blimmin uh, phone connected to the uh, the drone. So or the controller. What I had to do in the end was um, pull the cable really tight and wrap it around the phone. It did just make a connection to uh, allow me to fly the drone. Um, I've come up to this National Trust car park, um, I can't remember the name of the, uh, the actual village it's in, I'll put it down. Um, I think there's a beach down there called South Beach. <coughs> you can follow the coast path around to um, uh, these really cool rocks called Old Harry Rocks. Um, I looked at the sign down there, apparently Old Harry is a name for the, um, one of the old names for the devil or something like that and uh, apparently slept one night on them. Or, some kind of legend like that, so uh, that's why they're called Old Harry Rocks. Um, yeah, really cool place. It's one of those places I definitely think you'd get better images there with a drone opposed to normal pictures. You probably could get some nice angles with a zoom lens, um, but I don't think it's going to give uh, get as good images as if you had a drone. With the drone, you can get right out the back behind the rocks and look look down the landscape. So uh, yeah, really happy the images they should come out quite nicely um, there's a bit of mist on the ground as well and the, the land sorry so uh, that should add to the scene and uh, yeah taking quite a few different ones down there a few uh, bracketed shots a few normal shots uh, stitch them together and uh, see what you think um, I'm gonna head back to Devon now. I've got a motocross race to go to tomorrow so I've got to get some stuff sorted for that um, but yeah probably stop by Corfe Castle and see what we can get there
right, I'm at Corf now, I'm just up the road from it. Um, I've driven around the town a bit and had a quick look. The, the castle's in quite a lot of um, kind of disrepair or um, kind of derelict state. Um, still looks quite cool though. Um, I've just come up the road from it on this uh, road here, coming this lay-by. Um, it's literally just around the corner from these trees, the castle, but um, you can't really see it from here. Just gonna stick the drone up again, just get some shots of it from the air. I'm not gonna get too close to the castle because it's, it's a National Trust one and there's um, probably gonna be some people in it, so I don't wanna get be too intrusive. So I'm just gonna try and keep the distance with it and just try and get some interesting aerial shots. Um, do that and then hopefully that'll, uh, well, that should call this um, vlog quits really. So um, yeah, really cool the Jurassic Coast. I wish I had more time to explore it. Um, the rocks that I got with the drone earlier, the old Harry's um, rock, they are, that's a cool place. Um, definitely, if you've got a drone, good place to go and get some um, aerial photography. Um, and obviously, Dirtle Doors are kind of no brainer, really. Quite pleased with how the light worked out this morning. Um, as I was going down, I didn't think it'd be that great, but it, uh, it did kind of come out okay in the end. So, yeah, really happy. Um, just a little kind of day away on my own in the van really so um, yeah really really enjoyed it I hope you uh, found the interest and sorry the image is interesting and uh, yeah see what we can get out and about and uh, see the interesting stuff to shoot